Well, if you think winter has hit us hard here, think about the windiest, iciest, coldest place on Earth. It's Antarctica. And a local guy from Royal Oak's been living there. I tracked him down recently to dive into what he was up to, how he went viral on social media, and the special piece of home he took with him. So what's the difference between ice that you make at home in your freezer and ice here in Antarctica? The answer to that is bubbles. If Austin Carter had to pick a theme song, it would probably be Ice Ice Baby. The 27-year-old doctoral student and Royal Oak native has been living on the southernmost continent for 50 days, where researchers are drilling for ice. So ice cores from Antarctica are this unique scientific resource. Um, they contain a record of Earth's climate that's pretty much unrivaled by other archives. I caught up with him in Sydney, Australia via Zoom this week after he just wrapped up his third trip near the South Pole. He joined researchers from 15 universities and cold X to find the oldest ice on the planet and study the prehistoric dust particles trapped inside. What is the oldest core of ice you've uncovered? Our oldest ice sample that we've collected now is greater than 4 million years old. Um, this is the oldest ice that's ever been collected on the planet. And he's been serving up this polar science knowledge to the masses. Here are five things we can and cannot do while living here in Antarctica. This video racked up 27.5 million views on TikTok. My mother actually encouraged me to do, you know, she was like, you know, people really have a lot of questions. You should make an educational video. The most popular question? Where do you go to the bathroom? We pretty much have a designated bathroom tent and, um, you know, it's nothing fancy, but it, it works. <laughs> and he says you really bond with people when you're roughing it on a block of ice for days on end. We're sleeping in tents. With the wind chill, it's been minus 40 degrees, plus or minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The winds are unforgiving, that's for sure. A far cry from the halls of Royal Oak High School and the quad at the University of Michigan. It's a rarity that somebody's able to even visit Antarctica, but he went there three times. So. His dad says Austin's made his family very proud, and he's represented Royal Oak well. The flag from Royal Oak, is that your <laughs> idea? Yes, it was. Uh, I, uh, my wife and I are very proud of Royal Oakers, so I just thought it would be a cool thing for him to bring the Royal Oak flag all the way to Antarctica. The city has precious few of these flags, mind you. Our flag is very rare. It only flies in four places, and uh, one of them traveled to the other side of the globe, and it's very, it's very cool and very special. The city was happy to loan one out to their favorite Earth scientist. So I was able to take that picture, which um, to me serves as a reminder of the strong community support that has fueled my passion for scientific exploration. Once Austin Carter's flag returns to Royal Oak, the city is going to fly it for 24 hours over City Hall, and then eventually it will be on display at the local historical museum. Right now, Austin is soaking up the warmth of Australia where it's summertime. The whole trip to Antarctica was 75 days this time around. 25 days of that involved just the logistics of travel and training. And you can read more about his research with the ice cores. Just go to the story on our website, WXYZ.com. But just to give you an, an, an idea, the oldest ice core before a lot of this research was about 800,000 years oh old. Goodness. And now they've gotten one that's more than 4 million years yes, old. Absolutely. Groundbreaking research. And just being there at the uh, South Pole mm -hmm. has to be amazing. But the logistics, I mean, the whole thing is so fascinating. And to see that it's a, a local kid that's doing it. I know makes it. Makes it even better. And I'm sure he's going to get that doctorate in no time. We wish him all the best.